All right, guys. Uh, welcome back. We actually have a request tonight. I should say early this morning. Um, they want us to do a limiting reactant problem. And in this one, we're going to have to create the uh, balanced equation, show the states of matter, and all that. So let's just go ahead and get started. This is going to take a little bit of time to explain. Um, let's go ahead and uh, read this. It says, many metals react with oxygen gas. Uh, to form a metal oxide. When a solid calcium oxygen gas react, they form a metal oxide. You wish to calculate the mass of the metal oxide that can be prepared from 4.20 grams of Ca and 2.80 grams of O2. Okay, question A. Predict the metal oxide. That would be kind of easy to do. Uh, formed when solid calcium oxygen gas react. Include the states of matter. Balance the equation. All right, let's go ahead and get started with that. Okay, um, I'll go ahead and clear this out. Um, let's look at a uh, because we'll need a calculator to do this. This is stoichiometry, folks. Um, uh, let's see. Here's the camera. Let me lay my marker down. All right. A question A. They told us that we were given solid calcium. So I'm gonna write down CA. I'm gonna put down solid. And they're telling me they're gonna give me oxygen gas. Now oxygen is O2. When you write it down by itself, you just can't write O. The reason for that is oxygen is a diatomic molecule. Meaning if it's out in nature, it can't be just O. Diatomic means it would just die if it didn't have another uh, particle like itself. Meaning it doesn't want to be alone. <laughs> Okay, it would just die if it, if it were. But anyway, let me show you the diatomic molecules, at least the seven most common. And ironically, they make a seven on the periodic table. Uh, iodine, bromine, chlorine, fluorine, oxygen, nitrogen, and hydrogen. Those are the seven most common. And if you look, see, look, it makes a seven <laughs> on the periodic table. The only one that's oddball is hydrogen. Boom! Uh, just because it's the most abundant in the universe. Who knows? Anyway, it's special. Anyway, um... And they want to know what product's going to be formed. Well, if you remember earlier, uh, us studying earlier the ionic and anionic equations, you remember that calcium as an ion is plus two. And if you remember, oxygen as an ion is a negative two. So when they come together and they pair up, they're just going to make just CaO, which is our precipitant or our solid in this case. Now we have two things becoming. Uh, one here. So if you start thinking about types of reaction, you know, you have single replacement, double replacement, synthesis, decomposition. Uh, this is a synthesis reaction because two things become one. We're making one thing here. So this is a synthesis type reaction. Anyway, decomposition is the reverse. It's going this way. Anyway, we're almost done with their first question for A, except we need to balance it. 1CA, 1CA, good. Okay. Two O's, but just one here. That's bad. So we need to try to put a two here because that way it'll give us two O's, which is great, but we're messed up on our CA's. One here, two there. So we need to put a two here. After that, the problem is balanced. So we're done with this, right? Mm -hmm. For sure. Now, what we need to do next is label what else they told us in the problem. I won't have to look back and see what that was. Uh, they said 4.20 grams of CA and 2.80 grams. So let's write that down. All right, that was 4.20 grams of CA and 2.80 grams. And if we look at the other questions, they want to know what? Moles of the product, moles of the product. Okay, so they want to know the number of moles. And if you look, question B, let's bring that back up. Question B was going uh, from, from CA to the product, and C was O2 to the product. So let's go ahead and do those now. Question B, again, was basically wanting us to go from grams of CA to our product, which is moles of the CAO. And C was asking us to go from grams of O2 to the moles of this product of CaO. All right. 
So let's go ahead and do the stoichiometry. We got a calculator just waiting on us. Uh, if we look uh, for CA, we're given 4.20 grams. Put that over one, and that is of CA. Now, the molar mass of CA. We need a periodic table. Look, CA is 40.08. So let's write that down. That's 40.08. Now. That's grams of CA. Now that's called molar mass, so that's one mole of CA. Now look at the balanced equation. We've got two CAs here, so that's two moles of CA. And how many moles of the product? Well, that's two moles of CAO. So we're done with that one. Okay, now let's do this one. Well, I can just use the calculator one time and be done with it. Okay, on this one though, we're going to be going from 2.80 grams of O2 to 1. Well, what is the molar mass over 1? What is the molar mass of oxygen here? Well, let's look at the periodic table. On the periodic table, oxygen is 16.0. So all I got to write down here is 16.0, right? No. Oxygen, remember, is diatomic. So we double the 16, we get 32.00. Now, remember, this is called molar mass. So that's 1 mole of O2. And if you look here, in the balanced equation, there's not a number here. That means that there's one. One mole of O2. And here, this product, there's two moles of CaO. Now let's punch these in the handy dandy cheetah later. Uh, okay, let's see. We've got 4.20 times 1 times 2 divided by. 40.08 and oh okay and I gotta divide by two again so that gives me now I gotta keep three sig figs because I had three sig figs in the beginning so that's 0 0.105 and that's moles of CAO okay so we're done with that one B is done now let's do this one okay um, we have 2.80 times yeah, times 2 is that divided by 32 is that okay so 0 0.175 that's moles of C A C A O now remember folks both these answers are correct okay both answers are correct but if you look at question I think it was D let's look if you look at question D it says which is the limiting reactant now, this is the fun part. Remember, limiting reactants, you just pick the one that gives you the least amount. The one that gives us the least amount is this one. So basically that means this. Question D, when they ask for the limiting reagent or reactant, is going to be one of these reactants, either calcium or oxygen. And in this case, since the CA is what we started with, gave us the smallest number, it's going to be calcium. Alright, so we answered all of those. Just remember, always mark through the biggest one. Keep the smallest one. Alright guys, I hope this was helpful and uh, the user that asked me to work this problem, I hope this was beneficial to you. Alright guys. Uh, we ain't going to do any credits. <laughs> well, there it is if you can see the icon. You see it right there? See it? Oh, I lied. We'll look at it anyway. There's the credits. Stroke the ego.